Good evening and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Odi Aparandas. We're back with our wealthy entrepreneur, our wealthy explorer here, Strick, and his three friends, his band of brothers here right now. Uh, we have a couple more waiting in the wings. Hopefully they will get joined up this time around. They're still probably mad about the conditions of the area here. Imprisoned, feeling ugly bedroom, sharing a bedroom, hungry, yada yada. You know the drill. Uh, I guess we could make this a smaller bedroom for you and then you maybe wouldn't be so bad about it. We could also try smoothing the floor in here and that'll add some beauty. The walls will still be a negative as far as the beauty goes in here. Um, it's a negative one for each tile of, of unfinished floor in here. So, I mean, we have enough guys. We could probably finish the floor in some of these spots around here and that'll be better than... Uh, I mean, at least in the bedrooms, that'll be better than putting floors in and save us some money. It does take time, though, is the only trade-off there. So let's do some floors here. Let's move some floor. Uh, also, interestingly enough, we're on episode three, and I don't think I think this is the longest I've played this game without building a stove. It just has not happened for us. Oh, we can't even put the dirt there. Uh, we got to put some regular floor in then. Oh, it's unfortunate. Well, these bedrooms might be not permanent anyways. Okay, let's get everybody moving here. Uh, what else do we need? A roof has collapsed because it was too far from support. What are you doing, Lone? You nearly killed yourself. What are you doing? Oh, he's removing... Just careful where you remove that, the roof, okay? Maybe start with the outside and work in. You are an idiot, Lone Wolf. Please do not kill yourself. No, that's not what you want to do. We... Now that there's roofs in this game, I feel like they need to be a little less dangerous, first of all, because collapsing roof is very dangerous, and this doesn't look like it's much, it's just a couple bricks, and if it's if it's sheet metal like it looks like when it does little things there, uh, it shouldn't be that big a deal. If a sheet, piece of sheet metal, I mean, it's if it's heavy, I suppose, if it's steel, it's going to hurt a little bit, but, I mean, it's not like a, a ton of rocks or something like that, so maybe there is varying degrees of... Of, of danger with the roofs collapsing and now that now that they can have to remove the roofs to deconstruct a building I think it'd be nice to have them be a little smarter about it or not have the roofs collapse like that maybe uh, also I think this is an entire area over here which is going to be uh, probably one of those ancient things over here so I'm going to actually send strict close to it and see if it activates the ancient ruins thing because we're very early in the game right now if it's gonna be something super dangerous in there, I want to trigger it now so it's weaker. Um, just based on previous playthroughs, the way this whole thing works is as soon as you discover it. Um, yeah, this is the ancient danger, exactly. That's what I was afraid of. So, so Strick draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes him. He isn't sure why, but he feels that this dusty structure may contain great danger. Yeah. Uh, it usually can be a huge help, because it'll have, you know, crypto sleep pods and that kind of thing in there, but. It also will have mechs, it'll also have enemies sleeping inside of those pods. So we'll just leave it for now, but now that we've triggered the event for it, it's locked in as far as what's inside of it. So, you know, it's going to treat us as a colony of four people instead of a colony of six people down the road. That's the plan anyways. It might not make too much of a difference. The, the enemies inside of there might kill us as soon as we pop it open, but there's no re real need to ever, um, unless we need the resources for it. So I'm going to speed this along a little bit here today. Uh, we should also take a look, I mean, actually, I say that we're going to speed this long, but I kind of want to take a look at the social structure here, because it's something aspect we haven't even addressed, or we really needed to address in the first couple episodes, because it was just strict alone. Now that we have people interacting with each other, I kind of want to know what people are thinking about each other. So let's take a look at the social panel. So, uh, opinion of Dennis Martin is that uh, they're very positive to each other. Very, very positive. Um, this is the prisoner relationship. It's late uh, the negotiator. No, he's not. Why would he have any race? Oh, because they were in prison together. Um, that's why. It's interesting that the, the prisoners show up in here, though. So Strick is also feeling pretty positive about him. Chit Chat recruited him. Uh, build rapport. I mean, that happened a bunch of times, so that's that's good here. And then they had deep talks. He's beautiful, so he already gets a plus 40. So he's just going to be well-liked around the whole place here. Um, we need to get this guy joined up. Neutral Spacer. Um, and then we have Neutral Spacer Mar Midori Briggs. Uh, just a chit chat there. Uh, so I mean, he gets along pretty well with everybody, even though he is a psychiatric patient. That doesn't seem to bother anybody so far. Lone Wolf, on the other hand, uh, doesn't get along with Toon very well. Got a good good, good opinion of Strick because they had that dual recruited and re rapport built and that kind of thing. That might change as time goes on once they start having less, less talks and that kind of thing. That's why we need the table so they can kind of hang out and commune with each other. And then uh, Toon... 
Let's see what his deal is. Not well liked by Darion? 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 Darion. I'm gonna say Darion. This is called Lone Wolf. That's why it goes by Lone Wolf, I'm sure, because it's a little easier to say. Uh, and they are not getting along very well. Obviously, Strick is still positive there because they recruited. Um, actually, the recruiting didn't really happen because Toon just showed up. I mean, there was no recruiting going on there. So they're having actually having some deep talks and chats and that kind of thing. Plus, there are some very deep talks with Strick, actually. Deep talks, 54. Okay, so that's kind of the dynamic of everybody. Toon is well liked by Strick. Uh, the Toon lone wolf relationship is a little strained. Why is the relationship strained? Let's take a look at that quick here. Let's analyze that. Insulted. Insulted. Why would they do that? Just because? Too smart and, smart and slothful, maybe? I don't know. There's nothing in, in his history that would indicate why they would slight each other like that. But Lone Wolf's just throwing some shade around. Apparently so. Maybe, I don't know who instigated it. Who knows? I mean, it says, it says here that... Insulted. And, I mean, what's his story here? What's his thought of it? No, he's still plus one, so... So, Toon... Toon was insulted, so Lone Wolf's insulted Toon is what that means. Um, and that means that, uh, so that's why Toon is like a little off put by him for now. We do need to get clothing for everybody still. Little, little, you know, quality of life resources we need. I think Midori might still be naked in here. Cloth pants now. Awful cloth pants, but cloth pants nonetheless. Bodies got moved over, good, okay, excellent. Uh, the bed here can probably go for torts here. He starts sleeping spot. There's another one you can take up over here, buddy. This is the actual spot here. Is this too dark in here? Are people mad about the darkness? In darkness, yeah. I guess we could put some lights in here now that we have the power going. Um, I don't know where we'd want to put them. Let's see. Uh, not in the bedrooms. The bedrooms don't need them, really. I guess we need to assign a kitchen is the next thing, because now we have the, we need a food source, and the game's gonna keep yelling at us until we make a food source. We are pre pretty much out of food, I think, now. Low food. We have four meals left, so we do need to start cooking now. So let's start cooking today. Uh, we do have this nice covered area here. We can start building up a supply for that. Uh, let's do a electric stove right here. And actually, I can connect to the battery, but I'm gonna do a little bit coming off of that, because we're gonna want to we're going to want to expand this room a little bit here. And we want a nice kitchen, I think. People want to be... Because people are going to spend a lot of time in there eating and that kind of thing. As, as well as working. So we do want to have a nice kitchen. Uh, and not having this this rock wall here might be a good idea. So let's put... Let's let's just put the kitchen... Let's put the kitchen here. Should we make these walls connected? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But we'll do it. Um, and then we'll maybe dig into the walls here. Because we're going to have to dig this, this rock stuff out here now, too. Uh, so we'll put some orders to mine out of here. So we'll make sure there's a way to get into there. Um, we'll, we'll tell it to mine out all of this, actually. And we'll just throw, uh, maybe just throw some wall in there. Maybe all of this, too. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with the train too much. Uh, and then we need to put some power over to this. So we'll do, we'll do it like this. I don't know how much metal we have right now. Uh, we got a lot, actually. And these are holding up okay. Batteries are full. I mean, there's hardly anything taking power right now. And the, the turrets are off, usually. So there's that. We don't have any food grown right now. We need to go hunting, then. And there's not much to hunt, unfortunately. There were some of these guys, though. These guys, these caribou might get violent with us. Now, who's our hunter? Our hunter is... Lone Wolf or Strick. And Lone Wolf is probably our guy for that. Does Lone Wolf have a gun, is my next question. He's got a pistol. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, so I'm going to set him up as a work order for tomorrow to go hunting. He should pretty much do that right away, because there's not there's no cooking to do. There's no constructing to do right... No, I guess there is constructing to do. Let's put him a hunting for one, then. So he does that first thing in the morning here. And then we'll tell him to go hunt one of these caribou. And then the next thing we need to do is set up a butcher table. Now, what I'm going to do is set the st storage pile up for uh, non-rotten corpses of animals. And then we will uh, store those in there. We'll set this as priority preferred. Okay, that's good. Uh, over here, what is this storage at? Critical. I mean, we can just set it as normal. It doesn't matter. 
Um, because animal corpses will come over there eventually, but that's only for overstock. And then we'll set this up for raw foods or good to go in there. Okay, excellent. And cooked foods and all that. We need to set up a butcher table then too. And so architect production butcher table. Uh, let's speed through the night here a little bit and we'll set the butcher table right in the thick of it actually. Let's put it like right here. What kind of butcher table that I do? I do steel or wood? I want to do wood. Let's cancel this. Uh, edit steel. I don't want to do I want to do wood, I think. Well actually how much wood do we have? We have some. Okay, never mind. Let's do wood then. Uh wooden butcher table. We'll go right there. Alright, Lone Wolf's gonna go hunt the caribou. Let's see how he does on his hunt today, actually. Ooh, I just heard something die. Oh, this wolf is on the hunt. Let's see if we can take his kill. Oh, he's gonna heat it already. Okay, he already got it. Never mind. He was fast. He was fast enough. Hopefully this guy isn't too isn't too hungry now. Okay, he's fed up. Okay, we can walk right past him now. Good, good. Now I hope this herd doesn't start attacking us. Likewise, I hope this wolf doesn't get in the way. Cargo pods, what do we got here? Oh. Dromedary meat, okay. Wasn't there some meat that landed over here? No, those are potatoes. That's right. Oh, we need to send somebody for that. Uh Toon is going to grab it. Oh, he's consuming no haul this stuff, man. Don't just consume it. Haul. Right is hauling potatoes. Yeah, dude. To get some meals made. Um, I think our main Yeah, our main our main builder is on the hunt right now. We'll be back in a minute here. Poor mood for Tune, but that's okay. He can go eat some potatoes and fill his face with that. Poor mood critical. Okay, that changed. I think it, I think it changed quickly enough. Uh, so Wolf, can you make this stuff now? What are you working on now? Going for a walk. Okay, I guess that's fine. Got a few potatoes to people now. It kind of sucks. People aren't gonna want to join up to potato to potato people here. New rec well, I take that back. Martin is welcome. Martin, man. Awesome. So Martin is going to be awesome for uh, being a warden here, first of all, because he's got the he got the charm, he's got the looks. Uh, he's also good with animals. He's just, a, he's just a triple threat. Not very good at hunting. We'll leave that off. He's good at art, though. We can give him as artist like that. Great. Uh, flicking, bed rest, can't doctor, patient. OK, so he's mostly our warden and handling. That's a fine job. I mean, I don't need to put anybody else on handling. I don't need to put anybody else on wardening. I'll be able to have a backup for Strick. Uh, just in case we can do that kind of other kind of stuff. We have our resident artist then. Uh, and I guess he can learn to hunt eventually. He needs a weapon though. So let's get, wait till we have a gun and then we can put him on hunting as well. We don't have any, uh, oh, we do have a poor, well, Martin, how, here, have this, have a, have a poor pistol. And then I can, I can put you on the hunt as well. And then is, is Lone Wolf a better shot than you right now? He's a seven. Uh, the one thing is nice about hunting is that it builds up your hunt, your shooting skills and he learns pretty quickly. So it might be better to put him on the hunt then and then leave Lone Wolf to cook. So let's put you on the hunt and let's put you on the backup hunt. Maybe we have nothing else to do. Cool. Let's start to come together here. We're starting to specialize a little bit and that is a good way forward. Uh, one thing we do need is another bed, I think, because we have five people in four beds now. So I guess we'll continue with our little shanty here of uh, adding on rooms like this. Let's see, what do we have a lot of? 75 slate might get us there. Let's see quick here. Slate blocks, five per wall, five, 10, 15, 20. Why can't we build there? There we go. All right, so these three by three rooms, I don't know if people are liking them or not. Uh, we'll have to take a look and see people's moods when they go into them. It doesn't matter. They don't spend a lot of time in their room these, these days. Furniture will make a nice bed for him. Let's take a, we'll take a look at the quality of beds here eventually too. We have shoddy, normal, awful, awful. How about the prisoner beds? Looking pretty good. Awful, awful. Yeah, we're not very good constructors right now, apparently. I like that you did the other stuff here first. We really need that done first though. Slow down just a little bit. So how's Martin getting along with everybody already? He's already a social butterfly. Look at this. Everyone loves him. I mean, he's a natural, a natural uh, bonus. Oh, fail to romance me. <laughs> fail to romance me. 15. OK, so Midori came out a little strong, maybe. Um, but that's the only person that's like low. 
late is 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 he has those deep talks with them too. Six plus sixty four, and he really is into Strick. So recruited, build rapport. I mean, the rapport is like super high. So luckily, he'll be pretty loyal here for a while. And right now, he has a negative opinion of Midori. Failed to romance me. So yeah. I don't know. Just came out a little strong. Maybe Midori didn't use the right words. I don't know what happened exactly. All right, that's going in. Two things at once. Fantastic. We can set up a butcher order for this right here then. Add Bill. Make butcher creature infinite times. And then also put, uh, make kibble. We'll move that up here. We'll do it one time. Um, and do until you have one. Actually, just do until we have 10. And if it's less than 10, then uh, then it's low. And they make like 50 at a time. If you use like caribou meat or something like that. I think they need to use vegetables and... Is that not connected yet? What's going on here? There it goes. All right, so we need to set up a job for this then. For our cook. Add a bill. Simple meals. Do until you have... Let's say 15. For five people, it's going to go pretty quickly. I mean, you'll be cooking every single day. I would love to say, like, do until you have 15, like, do until, like, don't do if you have still have five, but do until you have 15. So, like, when he, when it gets below a certain threshold, he, uh, maybe I can do that somehow with the bills. Let's see here quick. Quick simple meal. Do until you have... Once you have... Five, and then do that's probably not gonna work it's gonna be the exact same thing so i guess we'll just do it until we have 15. be a lot of cooking for day one here but uh lone wolf can do it lone wolf's the man for that making kibble okay so he's getting some potatoes from all the way across the map no he's getting meat from all the way across the map I guess it's good that they're hauling that in finally. Um, he'd rather do that than butcher a, a, a little thing here now, apparently. Oh, because the butcher creature happens after the make kibble, that's why. Mm, okay, I guess that's how it has to be. But that's 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 why he's doing it right now. Instead of butchering the creature he has right there. Oh, we need to make a door in this right away here too. Uh, let's cancel this. Before he builds it all. The doors are opposite each other now. Because I don't want to take down that, that wall we just made. So we'll have the doors off a little bit. That's okay. We're just have the makings of a nice dormitory over here. Uh, we could actually probably add on another like row of buildings here. And keep doing this 2x2 two two thing. And then eventually we'll switch these rooms out. So it's going to be just one bed in each eventually. Oh man, that'd be, that'd be the dream. Okay, why is Midori not getting recruited? Recruitment difficulty is it's, uh, 36. Shouldn't be a problem. Social. I mean, it's just a matter of time. They already have a 69 for for uh, relationship points there. Relationship points? I don't know if that's the right word, but opinion of. They did a little bit of floor here, it looks like. Smooth limestone. It took a long time, apparently. Oh, we need to get this off limits. Uh, we need to set up the kibble someplace that they can get to. Is kibble only good for dogs, though? I don't know if this guy, what this guy's going to eat. Uh, but we need to set up an animal zone so they don't eat all of our food. Because that is probably one of the issues we have right now. So, uh, let's do zone animal areas here. Um, animal area 1. And we will set it to... Uh, they can go anywhere through here. They just can't go into the stockpile. We'll set up their own stockpile here. I mean, I can give them anywhere. I can give them free roam here. Free reign, that's what I'm trying to say, not free roam. They can go into the jail cells if they want to. I don't care. Do what you want. Um, so there's that. I'm going to make the farms themselves off limits so they're not taking stuff right off the vine. So we have the option of harvesting it ourselves. I don't want them to just eat stuff like that. Uh, same with these over here. 
And then when people like will harvest it and then leave it sometimes. It'll just sit there usually on top of this, the, the farm. That's okay. And then I'm actually just going to say you can go anywhere here. I'm going to put you up through here, actually. I'm not going to let you go beyond the wall. But anything the light touches is our kingdom. So, except for over here. The light doesn't touch that. Don't go there. All right, cool. That's the animal area. And then we'll make sure that they don't go into these spots then. Should be good. All right, Toon's finishing up the walls there. Takes a long time to work with marble, apparently. Poor mood for Toon. Oh, he's probably working in the dark and mad about that. Yeah, he's working in the darkness. Eight without a table. Okay, we need to fix that up right now. Uh, we have the makings of a farm going here. Not a farm, a kitchen going here. We have the makings of a farm going too, obviously, but uh, we can make a wooden table for ourselves. We've earned it. We're worth it. Uh, and we'll put it like right here. I can see the food being made. So some social interactions for three people at a time. Like that plan. And Martin needs a bed. Shoot. Uh, let's... Let's get this bed made quickly. Actually, no, Martin can't build anything, can he? Nope. Alright, Martin, you gotta sleep under the stars today. Can late do it quick? Do it quick, just make him a bed so he doesn't sleep on the ground tonight. There he goes, okay. I didn't mean to make you not go to sleep late. Okay, then we actually- I think there was a night owl here, wasn't there? Or was that the Midori, as I'm thinking of? Oh, night owl. Yeah, she's a night owl. Okay, once she comes around. Why is this dead? Okay. Rotting, rotting bunny here. Um, can't haul. Now, Martin, you can use this bed. Stargazing. Okay, yeah, he's up at night. That's fine. He does have a bed, though. He can use. Poor mood for tune still. Hopefully, it improves. Can't have two mental breaks for this guy and. That, that long. We need joy activities. That's one of the things we're lacking. Uh, joy activity for horseshoes right over here. Uh, let's go outside the walls and play horseshoes. How about that? Some fresh air. It's only going to cost a little bit of steel, I think, for those. Billiards table. We have plenty of room for a billiards table in here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We just don't have a cloth right now for it. So the one thing we haven't done, I think because we switched wardens, the convincing is going to take a little bit longer, but Martin has such skill in it, I think he'll be okay. I mean, he's got a 12, um, and he's good at it, and so I think we'll have to build that relationship back up again. Unfortunately, these characters don't like each other right now very much, but it's coming around. He's already at a 40 now. He's neutral again. Uh, oh. Something interesting is going on here. This might not, we might not be able to recruit her with Martin, just because there's some history there. Uh, slighted, rebuffed, chit-chatted. Beautiful gets the 40 points. Build report is 10 points uh, for a total 23. Uh, negative opinion of, I mean, Martin. Martin's opinion of, of Midori is not good, but Midori's opinion of Martin's okay. I don't know. Is that enough? Because we were already up to 65 and still wasn't getting that recruitment going on. Yeah, listen to Martin to build report with me. Listen to recruitment pitch, rejected the offer. Okay, so we haven't really tried it again. That was the most recent thing that happened, right? Yeah. All right. So still not working. All right. I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe we should let Strick handle it. Let's put Strick on the case too. Maybe get the pitch from both of them at the same time, or maybe we just leave Martin off of it for right now, and let Strick handle it for the moment. Where are you going right now? Hauling dead. Yeah, do that. Dead bunny to select pack pouch for sure. Yeah, do that. Get it out of here. Here we'll move for Toon, why? Oh, the little darkness thing. Yeah, that'll happen. We need to get some joy activities going here. Uh, get that. This built, hopefully today. Lone Wolf's still sleeping, unfortunately. And then Lone Wolf's gotta work on meals here. Okay, so no more eating off the ground for anybody. Get that going here. Now he's gonna play some horseshoes and finally, oh, look at that, he's a ringer. Look at that. He's got some skills. Is he a good shot? He's a, a shooting of a nine. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. 
That'd be that good with horseshoes. Translates, all the skills translate. Now they got something to do besides cloud watching and stargazing, though. Alright, good job, Toon. Get some of that, get some of that, uh... What is it? Colonist idle. Martin, no, because because Martin can't really do much right now. All right, I guess I guess so. We don't have you idle, idle hands or the devil's playground or whatever they say. Uh, is this so we don't have you idle. Oh, we got three people playing horseshoes at once. I don't want you idle, so I'm gonna go if you go recruit. You'll have the more opportunity to do it. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Strick back off of it again then. Poor mood. Okay, his, his mood's improving though. Is the thing. Like it was bad. Now it's getting better. He's cold too. Really? Is it cold in here? 45 degrees. I guess it's kind of cold. Martin, you just ate off her table. That's not cool. I guess he didn't off the ground, so that's nice. Martin's idle again. Uh, we need to set up an artist workbench, I think, for Martin. Is Martin good at art? He's already 11. Okay, yeah, I think we set up an artist workbench then. Um, Let's just put it... We have oh do we not need oh it's a sculptor's table that's what we're looking for right oh we need metal steel yeah we don't have that well let, let you work outside though I think with this look over here um and then well somebody will build that once they get some metal for it get some steel for it there's a uh, someone to mine over here if you ever get a chance to do it. Whoever gets a chance to. Where's everybody? Oh, they're all hauling the food still. Okay, that's the rest of it though. So that's the end of that that little task. Once they're back with that, hopefully the mood's still start improving a little bit. We're hitting a little lull as far as action. We haven't had a raid in a while. A little concerning. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it would be some action for people, but... We had enough to do right now with all the random cargo pods uh, falling. All right, are you lone wolf is gonna make a meal finally? Good, good. Do that, please. We need some tables and stuff like that. He's gonna eat the first meal he makes, of course. But Lo, what are you doing, man? Cloud watching? No, you back here and prioritize cooking. Cook a meal, man. Show some self-respect. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some lights in here now. Also, you guys have been doing pretty well here. Ooh, torch lamp. Automatically refueled with wood. Oh, produces a small amount of heat. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, we had somebody that was cold also. Let's put some lights over here by the dining room. Let's put one over here by the entranceway. Just a couple. Uh, we need some power for over here too. Maybe for in here. Because they do spend a lot of time in there. So let's see here quick. I wonder if we run a thing, if this will reach through the wall or not. It might. I don't know. We'll see here quick. Let's cancel that for now. Let's put that in first. There we go. Lights for people. No one's in the, no one's in the cold anymore. And we're also going to make a, 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 let's see, temperature. We're going to make a campfire in here, too. Not enough stored wood. That's okay. We can get more wood. We'll make a campfire here so people can stay a little warmer. Construction failed. All right, so that's that. Oh, construction failed again. Maybe we should not have late on constructing. We have everybody on constructing right now. Lone Wolf could be doing it, and Strick could be doing it, I think, is the two people want in charge of it. I think we'll take late off of it. What will late be doing here? Growing? Um, He's got a passion for hunting. Plant cutting, maybe. Researching. That's what we need to get him on. That'd be a good thing for him to do. Uh, who's idle now? Is it Martin still? No, oh, it's late. Okay, so we need to get that research table built here, too. Uh, I think actually we'll have to call that episode there, though. It's been running a little bit late here, I think. Uh, I didn't set my timer, unfortunately, so I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of RimWorld. I'll be back for another one tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for another episode tomorrow. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know I have been. I'm glad it's back. It's been fun uh, seeing this little colony develop into something. And we'll see how it plays out from here. Have a good night.